Hello everyone, um, I'm Eyeball, otherwise known as Drone. i recently been asked a couple questions about different stuff I can do with the Xbox 360 controller with the PC. Uh, you can use the controller to play games, use the mic for different things like Ventrilo uh, or audio, audio recognition kind of stuff, um, and you can even use the 360 controller as a mouse. But first what we're going to start off with is getting the computer to recognize the controller. So what you have to do is you need to go to uh, Microsoft.com and go to download software. You're going to be at the software for Microsoft Game Controller and Gaming Mice and Keyboard Products right here. That's what you want to click. Alright. Select the type of product. Do controller. Select your product, do controller for Windows, or if you have the uh, gaming receiver, you know, for the wireless uh, controller, click that. But I have the wired one. Windows XP or Vista, choose whatever it's right for you. Um, if you don't know if you have 64 bit or if you have 32 bit, uh, default to 32 bit because that will work whether or not if you have it. Um, then after that, choose uh, what language you have. Um, most likely it's going to be English US. So you click that go and let it download to your computer. When it's done downloading, you'll see it uh, on your desktop or whatever it is that you download it to. So where it is right here. Just going to open it up. All right, it's going to extract all the files, but then it's going to tell me that I already have a version of this installed, which is true because obviously, you know, I'm using my mic right now, I'm using my controller. Um, so I can't install it again for you guys, but once it's done extracting, just follow the on-screen instructions and does what, do what it says. Uh, while it's installing, it might take a little while, depending on the speed of your computer. Uh, if it does take a while, just relax. It's normal for it to take a while. Uh, get a drink if you want to. It might be faster than most. But once it's done installing, then you can take the um, the controller and stick it into the USB slot of the computer. Um, if your if your controller is anything like mine, in order to plug it into the 360, you have to use the USB. So there shouldn't be any questions of how to do this. You literally just take the USB stick it into the computer and you're fine. Um, the controller, I mean, the controller is going to light up and the computer is going to do that sound and that recognizes an external device and it's going to install all the drivers, you know, just like you normally would if you were to connect like a flash drive or anything. Um, once it's installed, you can use the controller to play whatever game you want to play uh, as long as you configure the controller correctly and the game that you're playing allows you to do it. Um, if you want to use the mic to do what I'm doing right now, which is like, you know, on on screen tutorials, or maybe you want to chat in Ventrilo, or the game that you're playing, stuff like that, take the uh, mic from, you know, like, take the mic, stick it into the bottom of the controller like you normally would. And then wait a couple minutes or whatever seconds, and it's going to finish installing. Then everything is going to work. One thing I like to do is the speech recognition on Vista, because you can uh, if if you don't like the the one that when that Vista gives you, you can also download other things. There's tons of applications that allow you to do the same thing. You can fully manipulate the whole com the whole computer just by the sound of your voice, by saying stuff like. Uh, open Firefox, open this, open that, and then you can even like um, write a full entire essay just by talking. And everything that you say will be written, if you say it correctly. Um, the other thing is that you can also use your 360 controller as a mouse. Personally, I don't... I, I wouldn't do it. I mean, like, not that like it's wrong or anything like that, but I don't need I don't need it. I like to use a mouse better than a controller. Um, but different strokes in the world, so I'll show you how to do that. Um, what you need is a program called XPatter. Google that. 
um, I'm using version 5.3 so click and download it and it's going to give you one second it's going to give you a zip file or or a rar file or whatever file it is that you that you get some kind of compressed folder uh, file when you uncompress it it's going to give you this folder right here the XPad or gamepad pro profiler so we're going to run that and you're going to click uh, new All right. now you have to actually configure um, everything correctly which is very simple obviously stick one is the left one stick two is the right one you enable it you're able to move it and once you have everything set up the d-pad the buttons everything the triggers I don't, I'm not sure uh, when everything's done go to finish close it and you're able to run you can add, add, you're able to use your controller as an actual mouse um, that's it for right now I'm new to this. I've, n I've never really done um, these kind of videos before. So if I'm talking too fast or I'm not explaining things fully, you don't understand, you want to make some kind of comment about it, um, I, it would be greatly appreciated. So just uh, tell me what you think. Tell me how I can improve. And uh, let me know. Um, that's it for now. Thank you very much. Thank you for listening.